Welcome to Module 2, Integers. The term integer is used to describe nice, round numbers that are either positive, negative, or zero. An example where integers are often used is on a number line. Integers are usually the numbers corresponding to each tick mark on a number line. In the previous module dealing with arithmetic operations, all of the problems involved positive numbers. Although it is good practice to work with positive numbers, negative numbers also play a big part in many of the mathematical things that we do. Examples of where negative numbers show up in real life are numerous. If you are a golfer, for instance, you might hope that your score is a negative number, since that means that your score is under par and is better than average. If you are looking at your checking account, on the other hand, you generally hope to avoid negative numbers, since a negative balance means that you have spent more than what is available in your account. Negative numbers show up in all sorts of applications, so being able to work with them is important. In this module, we will focus on the procedures associated with adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing integers. We will practice the procedures in purely mathematical problems, but we will also look at situations where negative numbers can be applied in real life. Like the, in the previous module, we recommend that you practice answering the questions and completing the problems by hand first, and then use your calculator to check your work along the way. If you have any questions or need any help as you work through the content of this module, please do not hesitate to ask. We are here to help in any way that we can. Successful completion of this module will help to build your confidence in your mathematical skills and will help you prepare for upcoming application problems. Again, please let us know what we can do to help you along the way. Good luck as you complete Module 2.